We got six more comics that you need to get to add to your collection. Part two of five. Stay tuned. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get 10% off your first submission by using the code WELOVECOMICS10% on your order form. Link in description. What's up, everybody? My name is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. And today I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. got a little bit of a sore throat. So I guess the good thing for you guys is I'm going to try and do this a little faster so you won't have to hear me talk as much. So let's get right into the six comics that you need to get DC version. All right, the first comic I got, this is actually a signed comic, so this is going to be a little bit more expensive than normal. But here's a book that you should think about picking up. This is the Justice League Dark issue number one. This is from the New 52 set. Um, there have been rumors that Justice League Dark may show up either in the TV shows or in its own movie. It's one of those that it's worth taking the chance on because you can get it pretty cheap. Uh, this one is a signed book. As you can see, there's the signature right there. It was signed by My Michael Jannon, and I only paid $21 for this book, and it's in pretty high grade with the signature. That's not bad. You'll probably be able to pick that up for 10 bucks. so if you can get it, it's another book that you could take the chance on. All right, and now the books are going to start getting better, so here we go. Uh, there have been rumors about Harley Quinn these days. So this is a book, if you could find it for a decent price, this is Harley Quinn issue number one. Uh, this is the first time she has her own monthly comic. Um, this book is probably going to be in the $50 to $75 range. You could probably get it for cheaper than that. I only paid about $30 for this book because I bought it a couple of years ago. Uh, absolutely love the cover. Definitely worth taking the chance on. And um, you're not going to spend too much money. Wait for a deal on this one. Probably get it for under 50 bucks, And uh, very fine to near mint grade. All right, number three. This is a Bronze Age book that you might want to consider getting. You could get deals on this one. Uh, this is Green Lantern, Green Arrow. This is issue number 85. This is the um, the drug episode a, a comic that they like to talk about. Um, definitely one of those books you could pick up. Fairly inexpensive. I paid $39.75 uh, $39 for this book. So you're going to pay about that for about $40 to $75 range. The anti-drug anti issue, definitely one to pick up. Especially anything Green Lantern is going to be pretty decent these days with the potential movie. I mean, I say potential because with DC, you never know. All right. So, next one. This, the price is going down on this book. That's the best time to pick this book up if you don't already have this in your collection. Uh, this is Batman the Killing Joke. This is the first print. <coughs> Excuse me. You could tell because it has the neon green. So the other prints are going to have different colors. So the neon green is the one you want to pick up. Uh, you could probably get this between $50 and $75 in pretty high grade. Uh, since the movie is already um, long gone at this point. It's been like, what, two years now since that movie came out. Uh, and they're still talking about having solo Joker movies. Again, whether they come out or not, who knows. But that might rekindle anything about the Joker. Obviously trying to get his first appearance in it, things like that. You know, good luck with that unless you have a rich uncle. But this is still an affordable book. And again, the price is going down. So that is the best time to swoop in and get a deal on this book. I only paid $45.63. So you can find this book easily for under 50 if you wait around and search for it. All right, two more to go. This is another book I would definitely still take the chance on. This is Batman 357. It's got two things. The first appearance of Killer Croc and also the first appearance of Jason Todd. So this is a twofer kind of book. Now this one's a little different than the normal one. This is actually a reprint, but it's actually worth a lot of money. The way you can tell is they're supposed to be under the 357. They're supposed to be the month that came out, which I believe is March. If that's not there... You have the reprint. Now, that doesn't mean it's not valuable. This book I paid... Um, 
I don't know why I crossed it out, but it says $70 on it. But um, the regular print and this go for about the same price. So again, the $50 to $75 range. If you see the reprint, pick it up. All right, last but not least, just again, with the Green Lantern. This one I got an awesome deal on. This is Green Lantern. This is Silver Age. This is issue number 40. There's a lot going on with this book. I only paid $12.50, even though it says $125, because uh, a couple years ago my wife actually gave me a gift certificate from the comic book store, so I ultimately only paid $12.50 for this book. But this is the Golden Age Green Lantern crossover. First appearance of Krona. The Crisis Begins. And the Origins of the Guardians. So there's a lot going on with this book. And my cat is very excited about that. So this is a book definitely to pick up. You're going to spend about the $100 to about $150 range depending on the grade. Lower grades you could probably get for under $75. So wait for a deal. And again, with the Green Lantern Corps movie, anything with the Green Lanterns right now is going to be pretty hot, so check this out. So those are the six books. Please um, hit subscribe if you haven't. Hit the like button. And don't forget, it's not you, it's not I, it's we love cats, comics, and God knows what else. Thanks for watching, guys. I'd normally zoom in, but I want to end this video.